like to understand what an orthorhythmication is. So imagine um, any camera system, whether it's on in your hands or whether it's in, uh, on an aircraft or whether it's in space, um, is taken from a particular perspective. Right? And the, the problem is, uh, with regard to satellite imagery, is that the Earth is not a, a flat object. It's a, it's a round object, and it's also not a smooth object. It's a bumpy object. So imagine in extreme cases that you have mountains and um, valleys and so on and so forth. So if we have a, a, a camera that's up here in space, and this is a, an example of a, of a, of a, of a mountaintop, then the camera images that the top of that mountain as if it's over here, when its true map location is supposed to be over here. Okay. So the process of orthorectification is essentially moving the imaged pixel, which is here, to its map location, which is here. Okay. And of course, this is compounded by the fact that the satellite's moving forward as, the, as, as, as all of this is occurring. So, um, uh, and, the, and the satellite um, moves, and the Earth moves underneath it, and, and all these factors have to be taken into account to, to, to understand the geometry of the image. Um, without it, without this process of moving the image uh, pixel to its map pixel uh, or location, then you end up with uh, pixels, uh, the, the, the imagery in the wrong place, essentially. So. How do we do that? Well, we have to have a, a geometry model of the spacecraft and the, and the way this, the camera or the payload um, behaves, and you have to have a um, and you have to have a, a 3D model of the Earth's surface in order to compare um, all these things and, and move your image pixel to the to the to the true map location. So one of the biggest inputs to this process is a digital elevation model. However, that elevation model is derived, it's a necessary input to the to the process. Okay. Does that make sense?